press the bell icon on the YouTube app to never miss a video from News Laundry. There's news, there's sense and there's nuisance. This show is all about that last bit. Last week, something very scary, very sinister, very, very, very disturbing hit TV news. Sansani mein aaj hum aapko dikhane ja rahe hain us sherni ki tasveer jo insano ke saamne hamoosh rehti hai. Not that, yaar. I'm talking about the hashtag plot to kill our very dear leader, Adarniya Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji. Teen din pehle ek chitthi ne pure desh mein har kam pacha diya. प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी की हत्या की साजिश का पर एक बहुत बड़ा खुलासा हुआ प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी को मारने की साजिश रचे जाने का खुलासा हुआ है मोदी की मौत के सौदागर हैं कौन शुरू से स्टार्ट करते हैं एज वी टोल्ड यू इन द प्रीवियस एपिसोड फाइव एक्टिविस्ट व अरेस्टेड बाय द पुणे पुलिस फ्रॉम डेली नागपुर एंड मुंबई ऑन जून सेवन इन द केस ऑफ भीमा कोरेगा वायलेंस द पुलिस हैज कॉल दम हैशटैग अर्बन माउस दिस इज एन इंटरचेंजेबल वर्ड विच इज यूज विद Hashtag urban Naxals. The second phrase was made popular by right-wing intellectual author Vivek Agnihotri. He even wrote a book with that title, and now everyone seems to be using it. Are you a Naxal? Is that what you're telling me? Are you a Naxal? Yes, I am. I am a comrade and soldier. Ah, the sweet and simple world of Hindi movies. Naxalis just call each other Naxalis at random public libraries. Looks like our TV studios are no different than Bollywood. Mr. Prakash Ambedkar, are you a Maoist? Anyway, back to the Pune police arrests. The police believes that these five activists had a role to play in the Bhima Koregaon violence that occurred in Maharashtra in January. The police also believes that they all have links with Maoists. Last week, the police leaked out two letters that allegedly spoke of a plot to assassinate the prime minister. These letters, which I repeat, were expressly leaked to the media, were apparently discovered from the laptop of one of the accused, Rona Wilson, and spoke of carrying out a Rajiv Gandhi type incident. The media fell for it hook, line, and sinker. खुलासा हुआ है कि नक्सली एक बड़ी साजिश रच रहे हैं ये साजिश है राजीव गांधी की हत्या जैसी और टारगेट पर कोई और नहीं देश के प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी हैं। और इफ आइज मी विद कैपिटल एज एक विचारधारा के लोग हैं जिसे हम और आप लेफ्ट के नाम से भी जानते हैं आपके पास आज कुछ बचता है कहने को सर आप जीतेंगे नहीं तो मार देंगे लेफ्ट आइडियोलॉजी साफ तौर पर दिख रही है पोलिटिकल डिसेंट लोकप्रियता कम हो रही है सुनील चौपा साहब तो प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी कॉमरेज के पास जाएंगे और कहेंगे मेरी मेरे मरवाने के लिए खत लिखो प्लेन टर्बुलेंस ऑन राहुल गांधी स्पीड टू कर्नाटका राहुल गांधी हर चीज में आपको शक नजर आता है कम ऑन कम ऑन हिट विद अ कैपिटल एच द लेटर्स एंड इट्स कंटेंट्स आर पार्ट ऑफ द पुलिस इन्वेस्टिगेशन एंड इट इज देयर जॉब एंड द कोच जॉब टू डिसाइड ऑन द ऑथेंटिसिटी ऑफ द लेटर वी डोंट वांट टू गेट इनटू दैट बट व्हाट वी डू वांट टू गेट इनटू इज व्हाट इज द जॉब ऑफ अ जर्नलिस्ट
young men, Abhijit Nath and Nilot Paldas, were beaten to death by a mob in Karbi along district in Assam. The videos of the incident are gruesome and show Nath and Das pleading to their attackers to let them go. The mob had mistaken them for child traffickers. For weeks on end, they had been fed with rumours on Facebook that child lifters were on the loose in their area. Their case shows the dangerous turn such rumour mongering and fear can take. Arnab Goswami decided to use that to do his own little debate on fake news. The right, the left, the pseudos, non-pseudos, everyone. Everyone's doing fake news now almost with a sense of delight. And he decided to call the editor of Postcard News to discuss this. Till this time, we didn't even know that Postcard News had an editor. See, the fake news is the, you know, reason for lynching. The fake news generators, they use these opportunities for to politicize their, fake their news, issues. Fake. They say, why not call her? If there's anyone who knows a thing or two about fake news, it is Postcard News. Because it is a fake news website. I mean, if there's a conference on tackling terrorism, wouldn't it make sense to call Hafiz Saeed and have him tell us how terrorism kills? Because hell, he sure knows it kills and has a hand in killing. For Arnab Goswami though, fake news is basically about this lefty type lobby criticizing Modi. Modi is so good, Modi is so nice. You don't like him, you're fake news. So the narrative in their mind is that Modi is an intolerant fascist. He, do, he wants to decide what you eat, what you wear. So this was the biggest fake news, Sabha, was that the Modi government never said you cannot have beef. Arnab sab ko mirror dikhate hain, to humne socha hum bhi unko thoda sa mirror dikha de. The right, the left, the pseudos, non-pseudos, everyone. Everyone's doing fake news now almost with a sense of delight. The strongest possible action should be taken against people who spread fake news or think that it is light-hearted to spread fake news. Beyond this cavalcade of luxury cars of Shahi Imam Bukhari is the residence where it's mentioned gate number seven. That's the residence of Shahi Imam Bukhari. And the cavalcade of these luxury cars from Audis to BMWs, the man does not have money to pay the exuberant amount of four crores plus, which has been pending for over years for this, one of the biggest and most popular mosques, not only in India, but across Asia. I am from Assam and this particular incident that has happened in Assam has hurt not just the people of Assam, but people across the country. Why am I talking about right and left doing yeah. fake news is only for one reason. And we came out 50 meters from his residence. We are stopped. Suddenly our ambassador car is stopped and there are people who are breaking the windows with three shoots. They are breaking the windows. All the windows are broken. Our favorite hashtags of the week are Hashtag Modi ka mazak. Are you talking about this news 18? Hashtag Rahul attacks PM video. You mean this one Republic? Sorry, I just can't get over it. And that Panchatantra track. Everyone should have that in their house, right? That's all the nuisance we have for you this week. We will be back next week. Till then, stay mad. That's the only way.